The technology contained within the modern motor car can be both fascinating but slightly baffling nowadays as well. Most of such technology exists to make our cars safer, more efficient and just better than ever to drive. But some of it can be quite confusing for the average motorist. So in this A to Z series, we will attempt to unravel the mystery of technology that is the modern motor car. This week, the letter G. G is for Gaydon. Gaydon is the advanced design and engineering facility and home to Land Rover Design. It also boasts the UK's largest hybrid engineering team and employs around 9,200 people in total. As well as the design studios, Gaydon also hosts Jaguar Land Rover's chassis and body engineering plants, its CAD workstations, a virtual reality suite, climactic wind tunnels, rig test and engine test beds, an electromagnetic chamber and materials laboratories. There's also an extensive test track, including an off-road facility at Gaydon. It is, you could well say, the pride of British automotive design and engineering. G is for gearbox, also known as the transmission. In simple terms, a gearbox is what transfers the output of an engine to the driven wheels of a vehicle. The gearbox is connected to the crankshaft of an engine via a flywheel and it then transmits that engine's outputs via a clutch to a drive shaft and then via a differential to the driven wheels. In a rear or four-wheel drive car where the engine is in the front, a prop shaft is also used to transfer the engine's power from the gearbox to the rear drive shafts. A gearbox has different sized ratios known as gears which enable the engine's output to be deployed at the same revs but at either increased or decreased road speeds. Jaguar Land Rover uses various different gearboxes in its vehicles, the newest of which is a 9-speed automatic that actually weighs 7.5 kilograms less than the old 6-speed auto that it replaced. Jaguar Land Rover's most popularly used gearbox is an 8-speed auto designed for the company by German gearbox specialists ZF. Next week, the letter H.